Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Tech, Goku and Gohan. So these guys recently got their Extremes Awakening, uh, obviously as part of clearing a certain number of Extreme Super Battle Road stages and they look pretty interesting. Um, I think they could be a very fun interesting option. They are Goku's family lead of key plus 4, attack defense and HP 130%. They raise defense one turn on their 12 key whilst also sealing the opposition. And on their 18 key they raise defense permanently whilst causing mega colossal damage and lowering attack which is pretty interesting. In terms of the passive they have a key plus 2 and defense of 59% plus an additional defense of 20% at the start of each turn up to a max of 59% plus an additional defense of 20% up to 59% per Go Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn. They have attack of 59% when performing a super and they have an additional attack of 58% if it's an ultra super attack. They will get an additional 20% attack with each attack performed alongside as well an additional attack of 20% with each super attack performed both up to 58%. Then they will have a key plus five and additional super and launch an additional attack. There's a great chance of coming a super attack and recovers 8% at the end of the turn as the third attacker in the turn, which is pretty interesting. They have all in the family Z Fighters, Sam Warrior Race, Sam Lineage, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, and Legendary Power. And they are on joint forces Goku's family, Kamehameha, Bond Apprent and Child, and Earth Bread Fighters. Now the thing that makes them so interesting uh, for me, at least when I look at them as a unit, is that they, you know, on paper they look like you want them to stack, but in reality if you really dive down deep into their mechanisms, you actually just want to run them as a floater. Um, the big thing is, is they do struggle for key. Uh, their only key links are shocking speed, say lineage. They only have two key from their passive and they're heavily reliant on getting their ultra super attack. So that means that you want to really prioritize them existing in that third slot and being able to produce that additional 5 key which should in theory really help them in obtaining their ultra super attack quite regularly. The inconsistency in terms of their key is a big problem for them and the only real way to remedy this is by playing them in the third slot. This enables them to pretty quickly build up some kind of defense. Remember they have pretty adequate defense, they build up quite quickly, you know, they only need to fire off um, you know, or get through 3 turns to have the full additional defense buff. When they have the Goku's family members in the same rotation then they have that additional buff. So their defense can be at a very solid state without being overtly OP uh, at any given point. Now if you run them as a floater then you have the added benefit of not needing to provide them with a lot of key management. And it does help them a lot. Um, I try to run them as a second slot unit and there are a lot of times, even with a support, even with links active, that they just aren't hitting AT he, which does dramatically reduce their damage. So it is something super important I would say. Overall their highs are pretty good, uh, around 330k defense before super which is pretty solid. Obviously the ability to continually stack on the 18 key is pretty good. Then you also obviously have you know, their overall ability in terms of offense and offense is also pretty decent but only when you get the 18 key. Uh, when you don't hit the 18 key it does tend to you know, like not hit as hard as one might want it to hit. So it's definitely something I would say you need to consider. If you're going to run them, you either need to do orb management, if you're going to second slot them, or you need to just accept that they're going to be a third slot unit. Now they don't provide support, which I think is the only real shame. Uh, even a non-key support would have been pretty good and really helped out this category. You can kind of see as we go along that them not obtaining their AT key also does give them some kind of ceiling to their defense. Uh, their defense kind of sits in this realm of being around the 320k mark before application of any defensive gain on supers. And in that case it kind of sits in a very mm, kind of place. Uh, it can build up relatively quick, obviously only taking 3 turns and if you can get yourself some 18 key attacks then it can stack up quite quickly. 
can very easily become your 400k uh, defense for them to run with. However, however, that's not entirely um, you know, the gist of the matter. You still need to accept that the key management is a very you know, important factor for them. Not just from the defensive side, it's from the offensive side as well. Now there are some units you can activate Shocking Speed and Sand Lineage with and Sand Lineage does gain a buff at 10 key becoming a 2 key link which is pretty big and these things are very important if you're looking to really utilize this unit. Uh, link leveling is going to really eliminate another key orb for them which is important in the long run uh, and helps them to hit that 18 key a lot more steadily which in turn means that the defensive gain is uh, a lot higher which gives you a much better structure and just you know a better unit in general so definitely something I would consider um, outside of that nothing really uh, in terms of build I went for a full crit build uh, just to kind of maximize those ultra supers when they do happen if you're looking around them as a floater and you just want them to be fully uh, as defensively sound as possible then you probably want to go for a 12 key as this will probably, well, additional, I should say, you know, 12 key additional, because this essentially will allow you to continually build up some kind of one turn defense uh, against the opposition, which, you know, is going to be relatively solid, I would say, um, at least from my side. So, yeah, uh, honestly speaking, I think overall it's a okay ish easy air. I don't think it's as impactful as it could have been. Uh, although they did make some changes, I think they could have tweaked the numbers a little bit, maybe given them greatly raising defense one turn on their 12 key, and then I feel like they'd be in a very good spot, and a unit that we could see used a lot of the time, more so than, you know, being a unit that's a little bit limited um, as they are right now. With that being said, they're designed for the Goku's family team and they do tend to come out clutch. The priority links are going to be all in the family. Uh, it's always a priority link if it's available. And then either Saiyan Lineage or Shocking Speed, preferably Shocking Speed. And even more preferably both. Uh, which is obviously pretty important when we're talking about this unit's key management. Then Z Fighters is super duper uncommon. So we're rather looking for things like Samurai Race, Kamehameha, Legendary Power, etc which are all really really good methods uh, to augment the you know performance of the unit however link leveling is not the only suggestion uh although it does help out especially on you know extreme sides but now in this case a super unit but yeah that's uh, basically gonna be it for me uh, honestly i think overall they're okay i think they could have done a bit more maybe to entice running them in the third slot or at least giving them a reciprocal buff in the first or second slot to give them some kind of flexibility. I think overall the easy air was relatively light. However, I do appreciate it and I think the, yeah, I think overall it's not too bad. 